Hey there, so I had this question on one of my other videos for creating a King Table of Contents, and it was how to remove the active caller link after clicking. So what that person means is this. So as you can see within the chapter section of this book, when you've got hyperlinks within your text, you click on it. So I'm just doing a control click, and that takes me down to that section. But then when I go up, you can see now that it's showing red, as similar to a website. After you click on a link within a web page, it changes to say that you've clicked on it. So it wants to know how to remove that. It's actually pretty quick and easy. It's just, um, I guess, uh, Microsoft doesn't do a good job of explaining how to do it. What you want to do is go to your Design tab, and then over to the right, you've got this colors here, this little square. And what you want to do is click on the down arrow underneath that which brings up this custom options settings. Go all the way down to the bottom where it says custom callers. Click on that. And this is where we're gonna change this. So we've got multiple options and what we want are gonna be the hyperlink and a followed hyperlink. So as you can see, hyperlink is blue, so that's telling us that this is a hyperlink. And once we've clicked on it, it's purple, so it knows Okay, make it purple. So what you can do is change your follow, followed hyperlink caller. So if you don't want, if you want it to still show as blue like it does normally with a hyperlink, you would just select the same caller of blue. Click on it. It's going to create a custom. Hit save. So I changed it to the wrong shade of blue, but you get the point. It's changing it to blue. So let's go up and notice what I have now here is I have multiple color custom colors, so I can actually select one if I want. So it's saved. That way you can use this in another Word doc. Um, maybe you just want it to show as the original default black uh, in regards to black text. Well, that's fine. Just hit black and it's going to show as black text. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to change your text callers or your clicked hyperlink callers, just pick the caller that you want from that drop down. It'll save it as a custom one and you're set. As always, hopefully you found that useful. If you want to thank me for uh, doing this nifty and useful video, feel free to pick up a copy of this book. Uh, it's available at Amazon and uh, it's super useful and informative and I make a little bit of money off of that, something I don't make off of these YouTube videos.